This news is funded by viewers like you. Please support our work at democracynow.org slash give. This is Democracy Now! I'm Amy Goodman with Juan Gonzalez. We end today's show remembering the life and legacy of Pablo Yoruba Guzman, visionary former minister of information of the Young Lords, longtime print and television reporter who's died of a heart attack. In 1969, Guzman co-founded the New York chapter of the predominantly Puerto Rican radical group the Young Lords, which fought against police brutality, racism, U.S. imperialism and militarism. The Young Lords also provided health care, child care and breakfast to impoverished people most of them black and Latino. In this clip from December 1969, Pablo Guzman speaks after the Young Lords took over the first Spanish United Methodist Church in East Harlem, which became known as the People's Church. It ain't just y'all in this church, you know, it ain't just East Harlem. Remember, we relate to an international struggle. So it may sound, may sound ridiculous, but this all links up to what's happening from Vietnam to Puerto Rico to Watts. <laughs> Don't ever forget that, that without you here, see, our children have had it. What you do here today and what you do after you leave this church, no matter what happens, whether we get busted or whether we have to walk out, either way, it's still a victory. Whatever happens on after that is going to be important for the fate of the world, because we're in the belly of the monster. People all over waiting for us to take care of business. Now, I don't like people to be too optimistic because I'm kind of a pessimist, you know. But remember that no matter what happens, one way or the other, we have won. We have a victory here today. They can never take that away from us. Everybody here, go out and you go out proud no matter what happens. But this church is ours. This is a people's church. And all, and all, and all, all That's Pablo Yoruba Guzman speaking in 1969. In addition to being joined by Juan, who co-founded the New York chapter of the Young Lords with Yoruba, we're joined by Johanny Fernandez, the author of the award-winning book, The Young Lords, A Radical History. Juan, why don't you introduce this? Well, Amy, I, I think one of the things that the people underestimate, uh, that uh, Pablo, as our minister of information, grasped from the start. Uh, the critical importance for any people's movement of controlling its own narrative, and not allowing it to be determined or defined by others. Uh, it was he, for example, who launched the Palante radio program on WBAI uh, back in uh, 1970, and who launched uh, and initially supervised as the editor of the Palante newspaper. Uh, and as an 18-year-old, he had already studied one of the seminal figures of the 20th century media studies, uh, Canadian philosopher Marshall McLuhan, and had absorbed uh, McLuhan's theory that all mass media have historically functioned as extensions of the human brain, but that each medium, print, radio, television, does so in a distinct way, has its own language and message and seeks to directly provoke our emotions. Uh, Pablo insisted that in order to control our narrative, um, we had to tailor our messages to each uh, medium and also to use humor and bravado. He was an extremely funny guy, and he basically uh, captivated the corporate media in many ways. And uh, thanks to his approach, the, the Lords received perhaps the most sympathetic press coverage of any 1960s revolutionary organization. Pablo Guzman was, in short, the first great public relations expert of the U.S. Latino community. Mm. And Johanna Fernandez, if you can talk about the significance of he was known then as Yoruba, Pablo Guzman, to the entire New York community for the decades. Uh, he was a on the street journalist, Juan called him the best street journalist there was in New York, working for all the various networks from CBS to NBC to WNET. Yeah, and he received two Emmys. Um, he was a street reporter, uh, and he was bold, and he got his boldness from his experience in The Young Lords, um, that experience around the media theorizing uh, what it meant to be an activist, to engage in creative disruption, um, and how to use the media to speak to a larger audience, right? Something that, that um, 
activists around the crisis in Gaza are trying to do today. But I think that Pablo um, got his, uh, his pizzazz, his humor, um, from his heritage. His grandfather, Mario Palomino, was in Cuba when he enrolled and applied to the Tuskegee Institute, the first um, uh, institution of higher education for African Americans uh, in Alabama, and got in and graduated after four years. So he was um, a man of color, a black Cuban, uh, who instilled in his, in, in Pablo's father, a sense of pride in being black and Latino, black and Cuban. Pablo's father took him to hear uh, Malcolm X speak on 125th Street when he was 12 years old. Um, one thing about Pablo was that he was one of the first Afro-Latino um, people in the media. Before the Young Lords emerged, when you thought about Puerto Ricans in the media or in the public sphere, uh, it was light-skinned Puerto Ricans. And so Pablo brought to the Young Lords um, a theorization of race in Latin America, um, and he talked about the influence of colonialism on the psyche of the colonized and the oppressed. Latinos who tend to deny their blackness. And part of what the Young Lords did through Pablo uh, Guzman and others uh, was to build common cause with um, black Americans and accept and be proud of their own blackness. This is a spectacular figure who went to China with a delegation of 70 radicals in 1971. Pablo Guzman, that is. He was one of um, the people present at the formal announcement of the Rainbow Coalition, initiated by Black Panther Fred Hampton in Chicago. Uh, and we can go on and on. There really is no time to talk about how significantly important he was as an actor in the history of the 60s. Juan, you have 30 seconds to wrap up, and then we're going to do this interview in Spanish after the show. Well, he was just a, 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 a unique figure in New York City history, and the Latino and the Puerto Rican community, we're all going to miss him, and our condolences to his wife, Debbie, his uh, children, and to his mother, Sally, who was always uh, a big supporter uh, and friend uh, of the Young Lords. Well, um, Juan and Johanna, our condolences and to the whole community about the, um, the death of Pablo Guzman, Pablo Yoruba Guzman, Johanna Fernandez, associate professor of history at the City University of New York's Baruch College, also author of the award-winning book, The Young Lords, A Radical History. I'm Amy Goodman with Juan Gonzalez for Democracy Now! Democracy Now! is funded by viewers like you. Please give today at democracynow.org slash give.